Queen of Black, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, Saturn. Sun and the Moon. We're going to show you what's in between the Sun and the Moon. Because you're not going to get a reflection in a mirrored action of Saturn to see its rings. And we basically, from what we've been seeing at worldwide, uh, well, basically at the telescope, at the Canada French telescope from their webcam of the sky, which gives us a great view at 13,800 and some feet. Okay? Let's go there now because basically this is to show you that the actual factual and I'll play I can we can play here and we'll go ahead and get like uh, the 29th to come up here eventually and then we got the 30th let's see if I pause it on that or not and then we got October 29th and there we got the 30th and we can go ahead and we'll go look at what we got on the time on the actual shot from over at uh, CFHT Clouds. And we just click on it here. And there we are. We're at Saturn. We're going to come down. And you're going to see basically Saturn is behind the sun. Okay. They're just showing you the position of Saturn. They're not saying that it's in front. And what we have in front of the sun is two different planets. Basically... It's not just one, it's two, and you can see the rings, okay? And the rings are not, and you can actually see a moon there. And you can also see some moons here. And basically what the sun is doing is the sun is being a telescope for us up there. Uh, just like you've, uh, you can go study telescopes. There's one guy, I really apologize because the guy's a really intelligent guy. And as far as I know, I think he's still kicking. Could be passed away by now, I'm not sure. But he invented that one telescope I showed you a long time ago. I did a video on him. But we have a planet with two rings here. And we have another planet that has a, almost looks like a moon or another planet very close to it with a ring around it. Separate ring, as you can see there. And basically, you can, I can blow that up for you. As you can see that we realize that we're at this shot. And basically, there's Saturn and the sun's coming up. And then we have some of our remnants. And I'm also going to show you Meb Mebsuda and some other stuff and some crater impacts and also a shot of... I'm shooting right off the video. So basically you have a shadow of this planet here or basically this moon here or planet, whatever you want to really call it, here. This planet here has got these rings and has these objects there also. And we can blow this up a little bit more because basically we have moons here. What I need to do is I need to scoot over so that you can see. And basically the sun is actually giving us a telescope view of these objects that are in front. Now, you have to back up the video and basically let me make you realize something. This is a separate planet here. Okay, see those rings? And also see that this planet here, even though it's a small planet, it has the same type of ring. This little one right here, this planet here. But basically, who knows how it sizes it. It could be huge. But it's definitely smaller than these three planets here that are basically in front of the sun undoubtedly between the sun and us right here these pla three planets right there no matter what okay we've been seeing it before and we thought like wow they're crossing each other but this shows you straight up and basically this is part of what the certain secret societies that's why you have the lines on a pepsi can in the emblem of the pepsi yeah basically what it is is stuff from outer space and also the wave that's on the the coke can yeah secret societies Okay, they look at the stars, they see what they see, and it's like, oh, wow, what is that? Well, we just don't know yet, and we ain't going to name it or tell anybody anything what it is. Because actual factual, let's go look at this. Yes, folks, all these objects are out in space, okay? They're all known, they're all categories, and they're all GPS put in, okay? In space, okay? There's our moon, and there's Earth, okay? So when we're looking at the sun, you're seeing exactly that. Because basically Saturn is over there. I believe that's Jupiter, yep. And I actually, I don't know who messed with why I was gone because basically I've got all our objects marked. Let's remark them. And here we are. And the Earth and the Moon. And as we go around, we got Jupiter and Saturn. So that when you know, when you look at that shot, that the idea that there is some basically, theoretically, we know that it's there's stuff there between us and the Sun. But between Saturn and the Sun, lots of stuff also. But the Sun... It's in front of Saturn when you go to the camera. So basically all this stuff is between 
the sun, there's our moon on the backside, and Earth. And we get a nice telescope view of exactly that stuff that's here. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in because we know that all this stuff's here. Basically, this is the object that pretty much we might as well call that Pepsi. Because basically, well, we really honestly don't want to call either three of them Pepsi because the idea that they don't have a single stripe. Well, the Pepsi can, when you look at it, I guess, basically it's got two stripes, doesn't it? So basically, that's Pepsi over there. Okay? And as you can see, there's objects that are in its, basically it's got a lot of moons. And these other objects have moons too. They, should be, they are planets. And basically, you can see the three of them right here too. They also are right there. And there should possibly be something back out over there. And the sun basically telescopes all this down to us at 13,800 some odd feet. Now what we're going to do is, as you can see, this is different than this object over here. Because of the ring shape. Alright. And also, this one is different because of the ring shape. The rings. We got one, two, a very faint one, three, and another one over here which is the fourth ring on that one, or actually the fifth, depending on whether you want to call this a ring or not, this one here. Okay, so let's blow in up on this a little bit more and find our planet in moon belt that's basically on the smaller planet there. And remember, this is all in between. It's all in between the sun and Earth. Because remember, Saturn's behind the sun and you shouldn't be able, you can see at a certain angles in time, you can see Saturn. But otherwise, Saturn is behind. And there you go, as we got zoomed in to 800. And here's our planet with a belt of moons around it. And this is this planet here with all of its moon and rings here. And you know it's not Saturn because Saturn doesn't have this many rings. And then this planet here, is a separate planet also and it's got rings and it's all factual because this is between the Sun and us and you can see the shadow of this and basically a shadow should always be smaller so there's it's odd that we have this could actually just be another planet over here of some sort because the actual that should be a moon here and possibly a shadow of the moon right here because what I'm going to show you is some transit shots which will show you that basically shadows are the same size as their planets okay so this is all right here in front of your eyes and if you're at the mountain complex or anything like that then you see it and there's a video and there's basically a telescope shot from a webcam above on 13,800 feet at the Canadian French telescope and basically you end up knowing that between the sun and earth there is these three planets that one there which basically I'm calling it Pepsi because the idea that it puts off a different it's not just a 3d holograph because you can see that it's not a 3d holograph because you have this one and it has two rings here and in past transits they have been showing that the idea that we would see all these intercrossed so basically there are three planets out there three objects in space in front of the sun it's just basically undeniable okay saturn's behind the sun i.e once again as you can see october 30th there is basically hardly supposed to be much of anything between the sun and the earth to be able to view and we're on earth on that shot in the mountains in hawaii 13,800 feet so basically there is stuff between here and the sun that is very darn large okay and it's not venus it's not mercury and they have rings like saturn has so let's go to some pictures here's a shot of the recently of the moon and basically we'll go in and you can see the moon and you'll also see where we'll have more on mars and the moon and these uh basic craters because basically this is a crater from an object that hit the moon and this is all the splatter of it and as you can see there's a lot of secrets of the moon that basically you can see them if you take a camera out and look at them. And there's been a lot of stuff that's hit the moon, made craters and splattered. Splat, splat, lots of stuff. And it's very well known, okay? Now this is an actual photograph. This is not art, okay? That's the shadow of Io, okay? This is, I believe, Jupiter behind there. 
and we will zoom in on this and basically that is io and then what we'll do is we'll go to some pictures that actually zoom in and that's the shadow that's what the shadow looks like and that's what we end up having the shadow of those planets in front of the sun that were down near Meyer station those planets are actually there now they call io a moon of jupiter well it basically orbits around jupiter but it's not a moon it's basically probably a future earth as you can see here there's volcanic activity that's on io like crazy now let's check this out and basically i can zoom into you real fast here and give you a little bit of a closer view of io over here on the right that's what it looks like now check this out this is also a picture from nasa and it's not no animation this is actually a picture okay from a satellite okay the volcano action on io okay And actually, as I zoom in, you'll see that it's actually a picture. As you see that resonance cr across the edge of Io, yes, it's a picture, ladies and gentlemen. It's not artwork, okay? That's actually a picture of Io. Now, check this other picture of Io out. Actually, another satellite shot of Io and the mountains of Io that are basically, basically, uh, I can also show you a weather shot from Io, and I'm going to give you that here in a second. Hang on. But we'll zoom in on this, and this is the mountains of Io. And basically, there's a lot of snow and crust around Io and the hot areas melt through the ice on Io okay and as you can see yep a future earth pretty much basically Io is a moon considered of Jupiter but it's not really a moon and as you can see here here's Saturn okay and there's earth and there, basically there'll be these objects between earth and the sun for quite a while because it's not Saturn okay you're not getting a telescope image of you're getting those actual planets that are between the sun and earth right now okay and Tolts Oge, Tolts Oge, or how do you want to say it, in Basin. These are the craters, impact craters on MERS and Mars and Mercury. And basically, I just whap out the action. And basically, there's plenty of roll action of objects hitting these planets before. And also, Earth, we've been hit by stuff before, too. Now, I'm trying to say that basically, we will eventually get hit by stuff again. But as far as we know right now, not for quite a while. What's going to happen is, her is more than likely going to hit... Mars, okay. Basically, you see here Mars here. So we got to watch the impact crater of what, where it's going to hit on Mars this time, because more than likely it's going to hit Mars, and that's based ice on basically coming around. And these are satellite images pictured, pasted together, and basically Mer Mercury is basically a moon, okay. Mercury is the same size as the moon, and basically it really even shouldn't even be called a planet. Because basically, basically what they want to do is they want to keep old school around for a long time. Well, Mercury is actually a flipping moon. And as you see, there's bunches of stuff that's hit Mercury also. And basically, you can go back to the data that I just showed you on the craters. And there, I had both the craters of. And basically, this was taken by the Mariner expedition. Okay. And this is all from NASA, and this is basically actual factual that Mercury pretty much is exactly the same size as the moon and has stuff that's hit it. Just like the moon has had plenty of stuff hit it. And as you can see, you can see the marks from stuff hitting the moon, okay, over time. And there'll be more objects at the moon, and there'll be more objects at Mercury. And just eventually they'll come around. And like I said, this is just a recent picture of the moon. And basically as I back out, I can go in really big and you can see that there is stuff on the moon <laughs> and then you can also see that there is also splats on the moon everywhere and basically all this stuff that's on the moon is a bunch of splats from things hitting the moon okay and basically you can see it really good right there there's a huge crater there that's on the moon and we'll investigate in the future which crater that is and, and what splat and did all this all over the place just like a paintball okay Paintball guns, folks, yep. Stuff hits planets. A lot of stuff hits trailing moons. Trailing stuff hits moons. And also remember, Mars is too hot to live on, folks. And actually, see, Mars is too cool to be on, but also it gets flared by the sun. CMEs, gets massive CMEs. With more than likely, not since it doesn't really have much of an atmosphere, it would not be very safe to be on Mars when it gets blasted by the sun like it has recently done. Mars gets too close to the, to the uh, sun. Okay, so forget about living on Mars. It's ridiculous because what we've seen with the sun, and the sun's right here in the middle, and there's nothing between us and, and the sun, Mercury's. But these three planets are.